The screening mammogram should be performed every year in women without symptoms. A diagnostic mammogram should be performed in patients with symptoms. Some patients that have lump or nipple discharge um, should be also be performed in patients uh, that we call back after a screening exam so that we can further evaluate a finding. Also, patients that have a um, history of breast cancer, treated breast cancer, we follow them with a diagnostic evaluation for three years. After that, they come back as an annual screening mammogram. Screening mammography detects cancers when they're at their smallest before they can be felt. And if they are found at the earliest stage, that results in better outcomes. Since starting uh, screening mammography programs in the 1980s, there's been a 40% reduction in breast cancer deaths. Traditional 2D mammograms look at the breast tissue at a glance. The disadvantage of this is that there may be um, a cancer which is hiding behind other tissue, or there may be tissue that is overlapped, which makes it looks like, look like there is a cancer. 3D mammogram obtains thin section images, one millimeter images. This aids the radiologist in looking at the images and gets a, and they are able to have a clearer idea of your breast tissue. All women should receive tomosynthesis exam. 3D mammogram is uh, not just beneficial for women with dense breast tissue, it helps um, detect findings for women of all breast density. There are many benefits of 3D mammography over 2D mammography, which include um, approximately 40% reduction in recall rate from screening exam, as well as uh, approximately 40% increase in cancer detection rate of small invasive cancers. From the patient's point of view, the exam is very similar in positioning and compression. The only difference is that there is a slightly longer three to four second um, time that the, at which time the x-ray tube is moving across in an arc, obtaining additional images at one millimeter intervals. These are used to obtain the 3D set, which the radiologist then views uh, to get um, a more detailed look at the breast tissue. Here at Johns Hopkins, we perform 3D mammogram with the technology to perform 2D synthesized views. This um, gives an overall uh, equivalent dose to the 2D uh, digital full field mammogram. Um, both 3D and 2D mammogram uh, dosage is well within the safety uh, limits set by the FDA. 3D mammography is covered by most insurances, however, coverage varies by state and each um, patient should check with their um, insurance carrier for coverage. Music